We are having a conversation in our New Age series with Jeannie Becker. Jeannie has been leading this series, and today we're talking about aging and beauty. Uh, we have brought out all the models uh, with us today, uh, Katie, Shona, and, uh, and Rose, to talk a little bit more about this. So I want to focus on the industry for a little bit, and you said something really interesting. Linda has been getting so much work lately now that she's back. She's really back. She got the Fendi campaign, she's walking in shows, she's just absolutely uh, pumped at uh, the chance to work with some of, you know, these younger photographers yes. too, which is really uh, interesting, stimulating for her, and, and it's a joy to see. So yes, the industry is changing, maybe not enough, but, yeah. uh, but we're getting realistic now and that's good to see. I love that. So the industry is basically catching up to the fact that we actually just get better. That's what we do. We get better. So everyone just really gets better and leans into more of what they can do as they get older. And that is the same for men as it is for women. Absolutely. We get better. Yeah. So oh, what yeah. have you what have you found in the industry? I know for you, Shona, you really wanted to change your hair to your to natural silver. Yes. hair color. And that was a tough transition to make. It was a bit of a tough transition because I had always seen myself as this little... Um, sort of Audrey Hepburn kind yes. of little short dark hair like yourself. Yeah. Uh, that was my identity and to change it was, um, it was a little bit of a risk and I was afraid that I wouldn't be embraced in my with my new look. Yeah. But people seem to really embrace it and like it and I, I'm happy because we can all do we can all just present ourselves how we want. Yeah, so you're working mm -hmm. is what you're saying. Yeah, you're I'm working. still working. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We are now, uh, you know, getting models on City Line who have silver hair and models on City Line who have different body shapes and mm -hmm. models on City Line who are mature. Mm -hmm. um, so I do feel that the industry is catching up to reality. Mm -hmm. Rose, how are you finding the industry right now? Uh, I mean, it's changed a lot. Yeah. The industry has changed a lot. You know, Fashion Week... Hmm. But Jeannie, I mean, we would see each other all the time. Yeah. Um, but I have to say that although it's changing, I've built relationships with a lot of my clients. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting hired clearly to do a job, yeah. but I think that there's a, a, a big part of it that um, is, is dependent on the relationship that I've built with them and, and how I, how I'm, how I, communicate with their clients. I think they like that. You know, even if it's, even if th the jobs have changed, so it's not so much just the runway shows anymore. I'm right. doing private events. I'm doing a lot of private events where I'm speaking, I'm, I'm talking, I'm joking, I'm laughing, I'm eating, I'm having a drink with them. Yeah. So it's, it's I, I find that luckily, um, that's how it's working out for me. So, so, so you're saying it, 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 you're not just a walking beautiful person. You are, you are a personality. Well, I'm a people's person. You're I, a people I'm, person, but you're a personality. Rose has got a very big, you've got a big, yeah, amazing, beautiful personality. Well, and City Line is, was huge. I mean, they were huge. People stopped me at the grocery store yes. and, oh my God, it's, uh, are you Rose? So yeah. it, it's, it's, it's a, the greatest feeling, obviously, but... Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I thought it was important for me to do that. It wasn't, I just didn't want to stand there and look and not really talk. Yes. I, I like, I like, I like interacting. Interacting, mm -hmm. and I think what's cool about that is that the more we are, the more age we have, the more confidence often we yes. have. Yes. And I feel like Agreed. it might make you, you know, a more nuanced personality. Very true. Yeah, yeah. Very true. it does that for you. How are Makes you sense. finding, when you look at the industry uh, these days, Katie, because you're special in the sense that you started uh, Sorry, in your later. 40s. Yes. What, how, do you, how open was the industry to you starting in your 40s, and do you see things changing? So, uh, I mean, I started in my 40s, so I, I got roles for, for that, that age. Yeah. So I feel like it's, I feel it's a little different for me because from the day I started, it was just... I feel like it was better and better and better mm. until the pandemic came. Yes. So that was a bit of a game changer. But I also feel like with diversity being a huge help in this industry, mm. yes. ageism is part of diversity. It Would is. Would you agree? So, it is. Uh, Thank goodness. Especially, yes. you know, at the shopping channel. Um, 17 years ago, I don't think there would be, you know, 
six, seven models over the age of 50. That's right. Now there, now there is yeah, no problem right. at all. And I'm, so I'm just very grateful that I, yeah. can, I can work. And mm -hmm. in all honesty, I don't see that big of a change. I just see different opportunities. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I love to see it, and I like that you can come on here and be honest about the fact that it might be a struggle in an everyday conversation that we need to have with ourselves, uh, but the more we have these conversations, hopefully the more the industry catches up, because we are the ones with the power and the, you know, the presence and the connections, and in many cases, the money. So mm -hmm. the industry really should be paying attention to women who are 50 plus. And I thank you all for being a part of this. Jeannie, amazing series. Just thank you, thank it. you, thank you thank so you. much to all of you for joining on this important conversation. Um, and thank you all out there for